Hey everybody, it's Chris from Sea Dorner Fitness and we are going to do a quick ab workout with the Pilates ball. This ball does not have any weight to it. It's just a small little squishy ball. You could use one of these that you can get on my Amazon site. You could get this at Target, wherever, okay? Um, if you don't have one, you can always grab a little ball from your kid's pile of toys and uh, let's get down on the floor and do this. We have seven moves. 45 seconds each, and we're gonna repeat them twice. Let's get down to the floor, and let's do this. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is take that ball, you're gonna put it right below your shoulder blades, okay? And feet are flat. Tilt your pelvis slightly. So we're gonna start, we're gonna do one move on each side. You're gonna extend your left leg, hands come behind your head, and for 45 seconds, you're gonna take a lift and then a knee in. Okay, when you do that, try not to arch back over. You don't want to arch your uh, lower back too much here. Abs in tight. Ready? Let's lift. Up. Knee in. Up. Knee in. Now keep this leg active, meaning you want to be squeezing your quads. Point that left toe and in again. So it's a lift. In. Up. Good. Try not to hold your breath. Keep this going. Take it up. And in. Good. Lift. In. Good. Keep it going. You have about five seconds left on this side. Up. And in. And stop. So we'll go right to the other side. Extend your right leg. Here we go. Up. And in. If you want to slow it down, feel free to. Up and in. Good, keep going. Little lift. Good, again, keeping that right leg active. And in, keep going. Up, squeeze it in. We got this. Up, squeeze it in. Nice, breathe. Keep going. We're starting to feel some warmth building in those abs. Lift and squeeze. Up. Again. Last one. And stop. Okay. All right. So now, with the hands, you're going to go behind the head, tap down. Now, option is to go slow. Alternating legs. Here we go. If you're going up, tap your knees to the floor. Up. Elbows to knees if you can. Okay. Again, this can just be alternating. Okay. You should definitely be feeling that warmth building in the abs. And up. Again. Breathe out on the way up. In on the way down. Squeeze it, guys. Come on. Let's go. Up and down. Up and down. Nice, keep breathing. Focus on those abs. You shouldn't really be able to feel anything else with those abs right now. Keep going. One more. And stop. So grab one knee, rock yourself up. You're gonna take that ball and you're gonna put it under your lower back, okay? So right here. Balls under there, okay, right above your backside. Now, you're gonna go really slow. Right leg, and then switch. Flex your feet on this, ready, and go. So you're four, three, two, one. Relax your head down. If you need to, you can bring your hands wider, and that will give you a little better base of support so you don't roll off that ball. If you want to work a little bit through that core, just a little more, take your hands in closer to your body. And you might feel that that makes you a little more wiggly and that's okay. Keep going, keep going. Good, keep going. You have about 15 seconds, a little less. Nice, come on, come on. Slow, slow, good, control it. The slower you go, the more you're gonna feel this in those abs. And knees come in. Now listen, lift yourself up, grab that ball. Okay, this one's a little tricky. 
a little tricky. You're going to come up and put the ball in front of your left knee, and you're going to put your right elbow on it, left hand behind the head. Now, what you want to do is bring your elbows and knees together and switch. Okay, so you're going to switch the ball in the center. Yes, this is kind of like a little circus trick. All right, you ready? And go side, go nice and slow, and up in the center, switch sides. Good. Keep going. Take your time, okay? You're taking your time to switch that ball from side to side. Oh, yes, good. Drop the elbow, extend the leg. You got it. There's 25 seconds left on this one. Now, remember, guys, I'm saying we're doing two rounds. If one round is enough for you because you're just starting out, just do the one round. Eventually, you can work your way up to getting stronger and doing this entire workout in the two rounds, okay? Don't feel bad if you can only get through one round. Everybody started somewhere, right? Last one. And stop. Okay. Ball between your knees. Okay. Toes are on the floor, hands are behind the head. You're gonna crunch, you're gonna squeeze the ball, release, and down. Let's go keep going slow. Up, squeeze, out a little bit, and down. So, why are we going slow? I want you to think about those abs, right? In and down. When you come up, you crunch the upper abs. When you squeeze, you're starting to activate those lower abdominals. Take it up, squeeze in, take it out, and release. Do it again. Up, in, out, and down. Do it again. Up, in, out, and down, and stop. Grab the ball. Option one is to do this seated, or is to do it with your head down, I'm sorry and alternate the leg with the ball pass. Option two, do it with the head up and start. Now, if you'd like it to be more challenging, legs can go straight. Keep going, really slow. Slow motion, think about passing that ball. Once again, head can be down if your neck is bothering you. Okay, right here, knees in. Head can be up with knees bent, or head can be up with straight legs. Ooh, feeling it now. Come on. You got this. You got this. There's 15 seconds left. I know, I know, I know. Come on. You got it. Nice. Come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, last move before we start over. Put that ball right back between the knees. Squeeze it as tight as you can like you're trying to pop it. All right, take your right hand, cross it to the outside of your left knee. Don't let your knees fall to one side. Come back down. You go. Cross and center. So we're gonna go a little quicker on this one. And cross and center. Good. Ooh, I'm feeling this. I don't know if you are, but I sure am. Come on, and cross. Good. If you're squeezing that ball, there's a less likelihood that your knees go side to side. Okay, so you're stabilizing through the center. Cross, again. Yes, come on. You got it, let's go. Now if you're only doing round one, finish it up. You got this, this is your last move, right? Okay, keep going, keep going. Now if you're thinking, no, I only have round one in me, right? Maybe you just start round two and you see what happens. And stop. Oh. Very nice. Okay, so sit yourself up. We are going back to the first move, which the ball is behind, underneath your shoulder blades. Okay, so when I say under, I mean it's below the shoulder blades. It's not right between them. Okay, so remember here, leg extended. You're doing a little crunch, and then a knee in. Come on. Up, and knee in. Keep going. Up, and knee in. Now, if you need it, if you're like, oh my God, maybe you go a little bit slower. You don't want to be feeling this in that lower back, okay? So if you're starting round two and already you're like, oh no, I don't have it, okay? Okay, that's okay. 
right? Work up to it. You'll get there. In. Let's go. Oh, I'm feeling these this round. Come on. Up. And in. You got it. Up. In. One more. Oh, yeah. And nice. Whew. We're ready for the other side. Okay, so extend that right leg or the other leg. Hands behind the head. And let's go. Lift. Knees in. You got it. Up. Knees in. Ooh. Up. Knees in. Good. Up. Good. Keep going again. Not here. And you're also not pulling on that neck, okay? Lift. Knees in. You got it. You got it. Up. Knee in. Ooh. A little bit of fire in those abs, right? Come on, come on. Up. And in. You can do it. You can do it. Lift. And in. Come on. Keep going. Uh, last one. Uh, whoo. Oh, yeah. Okay. So option one will just be both the alternating. Okay? Option two, we're taking both hands behind the head, and you're crunching elbows to knees and down. Elbows to knees and down. When you bring those elbows to your knees, you're not pulling on your head like this, okay? So if it feels better, just put your hands on the sides of your head, okay? And maybe not even not even touch your head, right? So maybe your fingertips are just on the side of your head a little bit. Okay, keep going, keep going. Once again, this can be one leg at a time. Woohoo! come on. A little bit of fire here, guys. Let's go, let's go. Woo, finish it up. Mm. You got this. You got this. Ten more seconds. Oh, come on. Mm. Last one. Stop. Rock it up. All right. The ball is going back under your lower back. So get it up there. Okay. Feet on the floor. Lift your hips. Whew. All right. So. Huh. All right. Alternating leg lowers. Nice and slow. Really slow. One down. And then switch. If these need to be knee-ins, that is absolutely fine too. Whatever feels best for you, right? Come on, come on. There's always an option. There's always a modification. Ah, good. Come on, you can do this. Whew. Three, good. Slow, we go slow so you don't roll off that ball. Keep going, come on. Good, lift, you got this, come on. Come on, 10 seconds left. Whew. Let's go, let's go. And last one. Nice, feet flat, lift up, grab the ball. Whew. Here we go. We have those little switch offs with the elbows. Ready? Getting in position. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Then you extend in the center, you switch. Here we go. Come on, everybody, you got this. Now, somebody specifically asked me for a abs workout with the Pilates ball, so hopefully she's grabbing a, a few minutes to do this one with me. Come on, come on. Let's go. Cross, good. Try not to arch your back when you extend that leg out. Ooh, let's do it, come on. Eight seconds left. You got it, you got it. And stop. All right, ball between the knees. You crunch, squeeze, down, release, okay? In three, two, one, here you go. Crunch, squeeze, down, release. Up, squeeze, down, release. Let's go. Come on, guys, come on. Up, squeeze, down. Good. Again, not holding your breath. Get those shoulders up. Squeeze it. Down. Release. Again. Up. Squeeze. Out. Nice. You got it. Whoo. After this, there's only two more moves. Up. Again. Lift. Squeeze. Come on. 
and release. Woo. All right. So again, it could be knees in. It could be shoulders up, knees in, or extending with the legs. Ready? Your choice. Here you go. Here's the extended version. Here it is with your head down. Okay, take your time. All right, you will still feel this. Really drive your knee into your chest. If you need a little more, again, you can bring your head up, your shoulders up. And again, if you want more, you can go with a straight leg. All right, as I've said before, you want to go really slow here. Come on, come on. You got this. Abs should be burning. So after this workout is done, if you feel this, I want in the comments the word burn, okay? Come on, come on, good. You're almost there, you're almost there. Three, two, and one. <sighs> Ball between the knees. Whoo, all right, ready? Slow, cross, and center, go. Cross, pick it up, and cross, let's go. Over, nice. This is your last move. You can do this, come on. Finish it up now, right? Come on, you saw a thing that said quick abs, right? You wanna stay with it right to the end if you can. Come on, let's go. Now, say a few weeks ago, you were one of those people that said, I'm only doing one round, and now you're back finishing the second round. Okay, if that's you, I wanna know. Leave me a comment, yeah? Come on, keep going. You're almost there. There's 10 seconds left. Let's go. One more each side. And uh, stop. Grab that ball. Long stretch right there. Big breath in. Exhale. Good. One more. Nice. Leave the ball where it is. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock yourself up. Ooh, all right, let's take a quick little side bend for each other. I want you to go slightly back on a diagonal. Hold right there, hold. Good, other side, reach up, just slightly back. Hold it. Okay, just in case you were pulled on that neck, let's just give a little bit of a stretch on that neck, hold. Other side. Perfect. How about just a couple of shoulder rolls? All right, you guys. You torched that workout. You crushed it. So go forward with those shoulders. Please, again, if you felt that, leave me a comment. Let me know how it was. And give me a big breath in. Hands together. Bring it to your heart to stay in fit, stay in sane, and working out together. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day, guys.